A pleasant day to each and everyone, and welcome to our video presentation on the Chapter 14.3, Alternative Energy Resources, under the subject, Science, Technology, and Society. Let us begin by knowing our learning objectives for this lesson. First, is to determine what alternative energy and renewable energy is. Next, is to determine the different forms of renewable energy. And lastly, is to show the advantages and disadvantages of each form of renewable energy. Now that we are guided by our objectives, let us start with defining what alternative energy is. Alternative energy are resources or any source we use to supplement or even replace traditional energy sources. By definition, it is any source of energy that does not use fossil fuels. Alternative energy may be or may not be renewable. For example, of non-renewable energy is your nuclear energy. But in this lesson, we will focus more on the renewable energy. So what is renewable energy? Um, renewable energy are also alternative energy but have the carbon neutrality or lower carbon footprint. And the advantage is it comes from energy sources that are naturally replenishing but low limited. Um, it is virtually inexhaustible in duration, but it is limited in the amount of energy that is available during that time or per unit of time. It comes from natural processes that replenish themselves and they tend to be clean energies that don't pollute. Now, let us proceed to the different alternative energies or specifically your renewable energies. So let's begin with your solar energy. It is the most common form of energy which is harnessed by solar panels or your photovoltaic cells. In photovoltaic power stations, they are arranged almost edge to edge to capture sunlight in large fields. You'll also see them on top of houses and other buildings at times as well. When the sun's rays hit the cells, it loosens electrons from their atoms. This allows the electrons to flow through the cell and generate electricity. This can generate power for thousands of people at once. Now, let's learn about its advantages. So it lowers your electricity bill. It is environmentally friendly since solar energy has far fewer carbon emissions than the standard forms of non-green energy that heavily relies on fossil fuels. It moves us towards energy independence, it is sustainable, and it is low maintenance since most solar energy systems come with a very extended warranty, sometimes up to 25 years. Now, let us move on on its disadvantages. So the disadvantages of solar energy includes substantial or initial investment since the initial installation of a solar power system can be quite costly up front. It also doesn't work at night, and problems on energy storage is evident if you don't use your solar energy immediately. For example, it will have to be stored in batteries, which can be uh, both costly and space-consuming. Um, space constraints. This, the more electricity you need, the more solar panels you will need, which leads to more space that you will have to use. And lastly is your location. Although the sun is an abundant source of energy, its intensity and availability, availability can vary throughout the world. So depending on where you live, your weather conditions might be rainier and cloudier than other places. And that is a disadvantage. The next alternative energy is wind energy. Wind first hits a turbine's blades, causing them to rotate and turn the turbine connected to them. That changes the kinetic energy to the rotational energy by moving a shaft which is connected to a generator, and thereby producing electrical energy through electromagnetism. The amount of power that can be harvested from wind depends on the size of the turbine and the length of its blades. Now, let's discuss the advantages of wind energy. Firstly, it is free fuel since wind turbines themselves run strictly on the power of wind generated. Therefore, there is no need for fuel. It is also one of the cleanest forms of energy since wind energy doesn't rely on fossil fuels to power the turbines. Wind energy does not contribute to climate change. It advances in technology in which the latest advances in technology have transformed preliminary wind turbine designs into extremely efficient energy harvesters. 
it doesn't disrupt farmland operations, it reduces our dependence of fossil fuel. Now, let us discuss the disadvantages of wind energy. First, it is dangerous to some wildlife. Wind turbines are known to pose a threat to the wildlife. Flying birds and bats, whose habitats or migratory paths could be injured or killed if they run into the blades that turn on the fan-like structure of wind turbines when they are spinning. Next, noisy. Wind turbines can be quite noisy, which is why they are mostly found in very rural areas where most people don't live. Next, it is expensive upfront cost. And next, it is unreliable or unpredictable. That is because wind energy suffers from what is called intermittency, which is a disruption caused by the inconsistency of the wind itself. Now, let us move on to the next alternative energy, which is your ocean energy. All forms of renewable energy that is derived from the sea are referred to as your ocean energy. Ocean technology is divided into three categories, that is your wave, tidal, and ocean thermal. The ocean can produce two types of energy, that is your thermal and your mechanical. Wave energy is produced when the wind flows over open water and creates waves. The energy produced and caught up in that water power is enormous. Wave energy gets produced when electricity generators are placed on the surface of the ocean. The factors determining, determining the energy output includes wave height, wave speed, wave length, and water density. Now, let us discuss tidal energy. Tidal power or tidal energy is harnessed by converting energy from tides into useful forms of power, mainly electricity using various methods. Tidal energy technologies harvest the potential energy created by the height difference between high and low tides. Tidal stream or current technologies capture the kinetic energy of currents flowing in and out of the tidal areas. Ocean mechanical energy uses the ebbs and flows of the tides to generate energy which is created by the Earth's rotation and gravity from the moon. Now let us discuss ocean thermal energy. The temperature difference between the ocean's surface water and deeper water is converted into energy by converting the temperature difference between the ocean's surface water and deeper water. Ocean thermal energy relies on warm water surface temperatures to generate energy through a variety of different systems. Now, let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages of ocean energy. First is the advantages. Um, it is predictable and reliable. It is global since tidal streams and ocean currents are available on all continents. It is energy rich since moving water is 832 times denser than moving air, creating conditions for efficient energy conversion. Minimal use of land and no visual impact since hidden, it is hidden in the depth of the ocean. Therefore, it is out of sight and does not compete for land space. Now for the disadvantages. Environmental effects such as um, establishing plants directly on the beach might be harmful because they would be unsightly and can cause damage to marine life and the surrounding ecosystems. Next, it is highly expensive with high maintenance costs since maintenance of, for these plants is estimated to be very expensive because they will be submerged in constantly moving salt water. And it is also hard to scale since the biggest drawback at the moment is that no utility can install wave farm farms as they are not yet large enough to produce a considerable amount of electricity. Now, let us move on to the next reporter. So now let us proceed to the next alternative energy we have. We have here the hydroelectric energy. It is a form of a renewable energy that uses the water stored in dams as well as flowing in rivers to create electricity and hydropower plants. Hydropower is the most important and widely used renewable source of energy, and it represents about 17% of total electricity production. The disadvantages of this hydroelectric energy is that it needs high investment costs, it is hydrology independent or water dependent, and in some cases, inundation of land and wildlife habitats, 
and in some cases the loss or modification of fish habitat which also leads to fish entrainment or passive restriction because it involves water activity in dams and rivers and in some cases it also changes in reservoir and stream water quality and also displacement of local population we have next the geothermal energy another type of, of alternative energy we have so geothermal energy is the heat that comes from the thawed surface of the earth it is contained in the rocks and fluids beneath the earth's crust and can be found as far down to the earth's hot molten rock magma the advantages of this geothermal energy is that it is environmentally friendly it is renewable and has huge potential it is also sustainable or stable and the heating and cooling systems do not involve any form of combustions like fossil fuels and they tap into the heat occurring beneath the earth to cool and heat our home it is also reliable and no fuel required and its rapid evolution or the rapid growth of the utilization of the geothermal energy the disadvantage of this is that it is location restricted which means that geothermal plants needs to be built in places where the energy is accessible which means that some areas are not able to exploit this resource and this is not a problem if you live in a place where geothermal energy is accessible such as iceland it also has environmental side effects like earthquakes and it's also, also high cost we have next the hydrogen energy the interest in hydrogen as an alternative transportation fuel stems from its ability to power fuel cells in zero emission vehicles. Its potential for domestic production and the fuel cells fast filling time and high efficiency. The advantage of this alternative energy is that it has high energy density and improves productivity. The disadvantages is that the utilization of fossil fuels in hydrogen production hydrogen storage and transportation, as well as fuel cell efficiency. We have next the biomass energy. Biomass energy is energy generated or produced by living or once living organisms. The most common biomass materials used for energy are plants such as corn and soy, and the energy from these organisms can be burned to create heat or converted into electricity. The advantages of this biomass um energy is that it is carbon neutral fuel source and it is less dependent on fossil fuels it is versatile and can be converted into many different fuel sources it is readily available in most parts of the country and it has low cost in comparison to fossil fuel it reduces waste and the mass domestic production which means it can also take control of energy production out of the hands of larger companies this means that people no longer need to be beholden to power companies and their charges the disadvantages of this alternative energy is that it is not completely clean it is also high cost in comparison to other alternatives and it can lead to possible deforestation and space which means a large amount of space is needed to grow the materials that are used in biomass energy it requires water and it has inefficiencies and it is under development that would be all for our topic thank you